Some FDC leaders who were sent to the party's disciplinary committee have lashed out at party president Patrick Amuriat Oboy, saying the decision to punish them is not in his mandate. The group, led by the party's central Uganda vice president, Elias Lukwago, have asked Amuriat to apologize for defaming them and also vowed not to vacate their position as asked by Amuriat. This letter signed by FDC President Patrick Oboya Muriat named seven party leaders who are subjected to the party disciplinary committee over absconding from duty, failing to perform their roles and instilling hostility against the party. Some of the named leaders led by FDC Vice President for Uganda Region, Elias Rukwago, quickly gathered at defiance offices on Katonga Road in Kampala and lashed at their president for acting beyond his mandate. Oboa has no mandate whatsoever to summon any of us to answer whatever accusation is leveling against us. I think he's acting out of panic, as the Lord Mayor has told you, and he intends to divert the attention of the public from the petitions. I, I see a general charge sheet there for all of us. Now I don't know which, which charge is for who. These angry men say they are amazed by how Amriat sent them to a non-existent disciplinary committee, saying there are several petitions in the party that are unattended to, which also pin Amriat and his ally Nathan Nandala Mafabi. Those accusations leveled against us do not merit any serious rebuttal. There has never been constituted the party disciplinary committee. So Poa has no powers at all whatsoever to appoint a disciplinary committee. He has no power. No, I don't think anyone would have the audacity or guts of summoning the deputy president, somebody in Cogonito. Lukwago and his colleagues now want their president, Amria, to apologize for acting beyond his mandate and also ask him to constitute the disciplinary committee to hear the cases before they run away. The person arrogating himself powers to say, I, Poa, I am the one who appointed you. I can suck you. Oh, my God. That's absolute hogwash. It is very important that the party organs that are responsible meet and constitute these committees so that the party president and the secretary general, who have been undertaking fraudulent activities within the party, be brought to book. Honestly speaking, the Honorable Amriyad owes me as the deputy president an apology and also for the insinuations he has made that he is the one who appointed me oh gosh while some of the accused leaders have bowed to pressure and are ready to face the disciplinary committee Lukwago and others insist they will not abide and neither will they vacate their offices as asked by Amriat I will appear before that disciplinary committee and defend myself it's neither here nor there and moreover to try a deputy president here, yeah. that's an insult to me. I've been, I feel insulted by the Honorable Amuriad. It's a neck that appoints, that appointed us. And it's the same neck that is, has powers to disappoint us. The developments came hours after the Secretary General Nanda Lamafabi fired Ibrahim Semujunganda from his parliament whip position before he named him and others in a list of those to face disciplinary action. Adam Mayambala. Josephine Namakumbi, NBS, live at 9.